Naoya Inoue has accomplished everything a boxer could want. He's a four division world champion, former undisputed king at 118, and has now claimed two belts at 122 after his emphatic win over undefeated champ Stephen Fulton. Scooter was the best available at Super Bantamweight, and Inoue made it look easy, stopping him in the eighth round. Before even leaving the ring, the monster's next fight seems to already be in the works. He faced off with the other unified champion, Marlon Topalis, giving every indication that he will stick around at 122 and attempt to unify the entire division. But following the blueprint of Inoue's career, there could be another move up in weight in the near future. 126 holds all kinds of potential opponents for the monster, but the most interesting would be a match with the WBO featherweight champ, Robisi Ramirez. Funny enough, he was the co-main event, defending his belt for the first time against Satoshi Shimizu, picking up an impressive win in the fifth round. Ramirez had an extensive amateur career, capped off by not one, but two Olympic gold medals. So there was a lot of buzz around his name heading into the pro ranks. But the hype train came to a screeching halt when he got knocked down and lost a four round split decision in his professional debut. However, Ramirez hasn't lost since and has looked more and more impressive with each fight that passes, including masterclass performances against elite talent such as Abraham Nova, now go, and there is the left hand. Isaac Dogbay, and he bring it home and he sends him off balance. And most recently, Shimizu. Ramirez immediately back on the attack as Shimizu is covering up. A bout between Inoue and Ramirez makes all the sense in the world, especially if the monster goes through with the Topalis fight and is able to become undisputed champion in his second weight class. Climbing to the top of another division should be followed by him adding another four pounds to conquer his next batch of challengers. And who better to welcome him to the new weight than the most dynamic and talented featherweight champion in the sport? Ramirez has already fought in Japan once, so he would not be against heading into enemy territory. And why wouldn't he, given the financial incentives that come with fighting Inoue in his homeland? In terms of the X's and O's, this would be fireworks. Inoue has supreme technique to pair with his devastating power that is shown to hold up over multiple weight classes. Ramirez has plenty of power in his own right, winning four of his last five fights by stoppage. Both men have remarkable defense, and when they put their foot on the gas, look out. They are both excellent finishers when they smell blood in the water. Inoue has not ruled out a move to featherweight either. In his post-fight interview, he stated he plans to unify the division, defend his undisputed status once, and then possibly move up in weight again. Inoue's stock has continued to skyrocket, but making the jump after a second undisputed stint in a second division, and then immediately moving up to challenge the best featherweight champion wouldn't just keep him in the conversation for the best fighter in the world, but possibly one of the greatest of all time. And on the other side, if Ramirez can shock the world, his debut loss would be all but forgotten, and the hype that surrounded him coming out of the amateurs would be more than justified. In a battle of limitless potential, Inoue versus Ramirez would crown much more than this generation's featherweight king. It would produce a matchup that couldn't be called anything other than must see.